Thousands of firefighters, friends, and family members are in Worcester tonight paying tribute to the life of a fallen firefighter. A viewing is being held right now for firefighter Christopher Roy. Roy was killed Sunday while fighting a five alarm fire. Helicopter captured these long lines making their way into St. John's Church just a short time ago. You can see the massive amounts of law enforcement waiting to pay their respects. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is live in Worcester tonight where the public wake is taking place right now. Caroline. Shannon and Steve, that long line you mentioned, we saw that as we pulled up here to St. John's Church earlier this afternoon. That line is holding, holding steady tonight with members of the public and family and friends of fallen firefighter Christopher Roy. Now, Roy had been with the department for just about two and a half years. He was a single father to a nine year old girl named Ava. Since his passing on Sunday, the community has rallied around Ava tonight and tomorrow. They have an opportunity to say goodbye to her father. Firefighters, they're good guys, you know what I mean? So. Come down, pay your respects, and show the little guy some fire trucks. See all the firemen? Huh? We see all the firemen? Yeah. Yeah, lots of firemen. And for the funeral tomorrow here at St. John's Church, many departments from Rhode Island and from southeastern Massachusetts will be in attendance. That includes Providence, East Providence, Attleboro, Cranston, and East Greenwich, just to name a few. But tonight in this cold weather, weather the Providence Canteen is actually here to offer support to the firefighters who are here to pay their respects to fallen firefighter Christopher Roy. We're going to hear from them coming up at 6 o'clock. Reporting live in Worcester, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News. Also developing right now, thousands gathered to pay tribute to a fallen firefighter who was tragically killed in the line of duty. First responders from across New England are among the huge crowd of mourners in Worcester tonight, attending a wake for 36-year-old Christopher Roy. Roy was killed last Sunday while battling a five-alarm fire in Worcester. The single father leaves behind his nine-year-old daughter, Ava, seen here with her dad. Roy will be laid to rest tomorrow. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us live from Worcester now with more on tonight's emotional services. Caroline? Well, really, it's going to be an emotional weekend here in Worcester. The funeral services will be held tomorrow morning here at St. John's Catholic Church. A public wake is going on right now. That will take place until 8 o'clock tonight. And thousands of people have come out this afternoon to show their support for fallen firefighter Christopher Roy. That includes members of the Providence Canteen who were on hand tonight offering food and drinks to any firefighters who have come out to pay their respects. Now, the volunteers from Providence tell me that they packed up this morning to make the short trip up here to Worcester, and they'll be here tomorrow as well for the funeral services. Volunteer Joe Phillips has served the canteen since 1992. He tells me he's been to about 10 funerals for someone killed in the line of duty. He says it never gets easy. Uh, every firefighter, their family, their history is different. And, and you tend to bond uh, what, they're, what they're all about. Some firefighters, um, you know, like, you know, Firefighter Roy, you know, with his uh, nine-year-old daughter, you know, and a single parent, you know, that's 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 what kills you. And tomorrow, many first responders from Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts will be on hand for the funeral services. That includes firefighters from Providence, East Providence, Cranston, East Greenwich, and Attleboro, just to name a few. Reporting live in Worcester tonight, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.